Welcome to Game 6. This is the last episode. This is Amazon Adventure. So what we're going to do is we're going to make us a new game. Right click Application at 1. Click Rename. Call it Amazon Adventure. And rename Frame 2 Level 1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to import our library. So we come on down, right click in the blank spot, click New. And then we go Libraries, Documents, My Documents. Inside there, there's my Game Design folder. And there's Resources. Inside Resources, I'm in the last project, Project 6. I click. Amazon Adventure Library, and I click OK. I knew name this new library Amazon Adventure Library. So now I just click it, double click this open. There's all my icons. Now I save this as Amazon Adventure to into my Project Six folder in my class. You're done with Lab One. The first thing I do is I open my level one, double click. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my settings. Check the set uh, settings box here. Change my virtual width. We're going to make it 1280. We'll change your virtual height to 960. Click enter. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the backdrop. I come down here. Here's my jungle backdrop. I put it up here. Right click it. I click a, um, a line in frame. A line on the left. Right click. A line in frame. A line on the top. Now I lock my frame right here. Click that lock red. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer. And I'm going to choose this. Now you notice both of these are selected. Um, I can choose to unselect this by clicking View. Come down to the Frame Editor. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my local library. Now if you haven't downloaded the whole product like I didn't, all you have in your uh, local folder is the Choco Break tutorial. In that case, you have to go and download from the class page the Mad Scientist. So I can go to the home page. And up here in Doc Sharing, I'm going to download the Mad Scientist. I click this and I click download. So I'm going to save the file, go OK. So now I just click the Mad Scientist, double click him. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to right click this, right click copy. Then I'm going to navigate to my folder in game design, resources, project six. Amazon Adventure Library, I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste it right there. So now I have the Mad Scientist. So I can go back into the game now. So now I can open up the, whoops, come back down here, the Amazon Adventure Library. Now I can open up the games platform and get the Mad Scientist. So I'll just put them up here. I'll come back up, open up my regular Games Adventure Library. See, I'm having both here. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to zoom. Let's zoom out. I think I don't have them low enough. I go View, Zoom, and we need to go to 
There we go. I'm going to come on down and I'm going to take the mad scientist and put him down here in the lower left hand corner. Just right click him and click rename like you do anything else. Right click it and there's rename. We're going to name insane programmer, we're name him scientist. So I right click him, click rename and call him scientist. And we're going to click OK. Now we're in lab three. If you want to look at the animations, all you have to do is double click the scientist. Then you can look at uh, what, is, what does he look like walking. So there's the frames and you can look, you can play the walking animation. See what he looks like walking. You look at the disappearing, see what he looks like disappearing. Yeah, when you lose he disappears, right? <laughs> You can check all these out. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add platform movement. So I'm going to click here. I click the running man. I click static. And I'm going to go down to platform. And inside the platform movement, I'm going to come down to control. And I'm going to click up and left. Now what I do is I go into the event editor. And um, I'm going to right click special. And I'm going to go to always. Okay, under the storyboard control um, column, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to scrollings. And I'm going to select center window position in frame. And I click relative to. And I click the scientist. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to check change the X and Y to zero. Double click X, zero. Double click Y, zero. Click OK. So now we test the game. You see nothing happens. The reason is we're not centered on the scientist yet. So now we're going to contain the scientist on the stage. So I'm going to make a new condition. Right click, click on scientist, um, click position, test position of scientist. So now I'm going to check him when he tries to leave on one of the, any of the sides of the frame there. And I'm going to click OK. So now I'm going to drag over the scientist. I'm going to right click the scientist. And I go movement and stop. I want him to stop when he reaches the edge. Test the movement. So I'm going to run application. So now I'm going to test my movement right, left, up. It doesn't go up, it doesn't go down. Oh, he crouches down. It doesn't really jump too high when he's. So he's we're going to change that later. So now I'm going to slow down the scrolling. So I'm going to go into the frame editor. And now I'm going to go on layer one. Now to stay in layer one, I might have to go view on the frame editor. There you go. I'm going to click on the one editor. And I'm going to change the X coefficient. I'm going to click on that. That's 1.0. I'm going to change that to 0.5. Make it slower. Same thing with the Y coefficient. I'm going to click on 0.5. Now we're in lab 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the platform and the ladder. So I'm going to select layer 2. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the platform up. Now one thing I'd like to mention before we move on here, uh, there have been some people have had some issues here and I just want to show you something a little bit. If you go to the help section here, and you click check for update. Uh, some of your issues will be cleared up with this program if you update your software. Just do it. Just click for update. If you're having issues with um, 
different things. Some, maybe an update will help you, okay? I know some people have um, reported that that's what's helped them. So I've got here the platform, and I've got the ladder right here. It's a little higher than him. So now I'm going to run the software and see what happens. See, he's still not jumping very high, and he's jumping right through the obstacles. We're going to change that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the um, player's gravity strength. So I click up the running man up here. I'm going to come on down to gravity and strength. I'm going to change the strength to 100. That'll make him jump a little higher. I'll just run it. And we'll check. See, he jumps much higher. Still jumps through those obstacles. We're going to change that next. I'm going to click on the ladder. Make it where he's going to be able to climb this ladder now. Since this ladder is a background object, I have to change it to an obstacle here. So obstacle type none, change that to ladder. Then I'm going to click on the platform here. And I'm going to change that obstacle type to platform. Now watch this. I'm going to run the application. So now I'm going to climb the ladder by clicking the up, up. He's still not able to stand on that platform. So now we're going to help him stand on the on this platform. So I go to the event editor. Add a new condition. Right click my scientist. Go into collision with the backdrop. In the scientist row, I'm going to right click this and click stop. Movement, stop. So now I'm going to go back, add platform. So now I go into the event editor, I mean into the frame editor. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the platform. I'm going to click clone. Now I'm going to have two rows and I'm going to have 10 columns. So I'm going to click uh, 10, I'm going to click OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add ladders. I'm going to right click the ladders. I click clone. One row. And I'm going to put 10 uh, ladders there. So I type 10 in columns. I change that to 1 and change the columns to 10. I click OK. Now i got a bunch of ladders. And I'm going to start placing these around. Okay, what I've done is I've zoomed in my slide so show slideshow so you can see this a little better. I'm just going to drag uh, drag platforms out randomly here just for a minute here so I can deal with them. So you think you got something you like? What you do is you run the game and try it out. Well, what you keep on doing is you keep on moving your obstacles around till they're all approachable, so they're all jumpable, and um, you and the, you can reach all the the platforms. But you can always clone more ladders or clone more platforms or get rid of ones you don't need. It's just a very simple step. Once you're satisfied with everything and you've run it, you're ready for the next step. But um, once again. If you're having issues because you're not seeing your entire frame, just click here and make sure that your settings, click on level one, um, and make sure that your settings are 960 and 1280. Make sure they have it reset to 640 by 480. Okay? Now we're in lab five. 